There's much that can be discussed about OPR's work in this matter, most of it not flattering. They dropped their first version of the report on Attorney General McKenzie on December 23rd, 2008, at the end of that administration, and with little time for uh, the Attorney General to respond. The first report was filled with gaping holes, shoddy legal analysis, and something even worse, a clear desire to punish, it seems, uh, Mr. Yu and Mr. Bybee, even if the facts didn't support it. Later versions of that OPR report attempted to change the legal standard to an unprecedented heightened standard that OPR contended applied only to Mr. Yu and Mr. Bobby, the unfair equivalent of moving the goalpost in the middle of the game. And someone, by press accounts, perhaps OPR lawyers themselves, repeatedly leaked the draft reports and conclusions to the media, uh, in what would be seem to be a transparent attempt to embarrass uh, Mr. Yu and Mr. Bobby and gain public support for their conclusions. So I think that's unacceptable. And I'm going to want to know whether the department is investigating those leaks to determine whether they came from within the Department of Justice. Fortunately, in this matter, cooler and wiser heads have prevailed. Uh, the senior career official at the department, David Margolis, the senior career official there, who's uh, been held in great respect for many, many years, rejected OPR's efforts. Mr. Margolis, who has conducted the final review of every discipline matter of this sort in the last 17 years in the Department of Justice, drafted a 69-page opinion that lays out in great detail the serious problems with OPR's analysis. The Washington Post has called his opinion courageous and correct. And I agree. So where do we go from here? How does OPR rebuild its reputation and credibility? Can it even do so? And most importantly, how can we undo the damage that misguided investigations of this sort have on the willingness of national security lawyers to take on the tough questions of life and death and provide candid legal advice without fear that their reputations and even their livelihoods and, and uh, careers uh, will be threatened if they give advice that falls out of political favor in years to come. So I hope we'll be able to talk about this, uh, Mr. Chairman. I know it's important to you, and I know a lot of my colleagues uh, I feel like that this our government went too far uh, in some of the things that we did. That's all been made clear. It's all been made public. Uh, but I do think we've got to uh, move past this. We're in a war today. Uh, this matter has been confronted, was confronted, uh, and corrections uh, and changes were made during President Bush's administration. And uh, I believe that uh, uh, we have a, a sound legal basis uh, to uh, protect our country, but I'm troubled, frankly, that the president is not uh, using the powers that he clearly has. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.